You know, Dustin, I've always been fascinated with classic lines from motion pictures. Every time I go to my dentist, I always ask him, is it safe? How much grief have you gotten over the years from dentists, from that line from a marathon man? Well, I don't go to the dentist. I, <laughs> I don't <laughs> care what happens to my teeth. No, I do remember that the American Dental Association actually boycotted the movie. They sent a letter <laughs> out before the film opened. <laughs> this is absolutely true. They, they asked their dentists and their families and to tell their clients, do not go see this film. That's a fact, as I recall. <laughs> okay, you know, every actor goes through the, the struggling periods now, and they have roommates and friends. Robert Duvall and uh, Gene Hackman were roommates of yours at one time or the other. Yes, no, but we weren't living all together at the same time. Okay. Well, what, what did you guys talk about? Did you guys... Girls. <laughs> and we almost got into fistfights over, we each had a different acting teacher. Bob Duvall had Sandy Meisner, a great acting teacher. I had Strasberg, another great acting teacher. And uh, Gene Hackman had a very wonderful acting teacher, less known by the name of George Morrison. And sometimes we would argue on the street corners as to whose method was the best. It would almost come to blows. Well, were you all pretty confident that your careers were going to be successful? Opposite. Opposite. If, I mean, we were always had parties. Because when you have a party, you don't have to spend money. So you have a party, and then everybody brings their own. And remember the days of the Chianti candles? Yeah bottles with the thing dripping down and you know we put some music on Bob would play the guitar to try to get laid I can't say that on television I would play the piano <laughs> to try to get what you can't say on television Gene Hackman get into a fist fight just because he wasn't getting what he can't say on television <laughs> and if someone would have said you three guys are gonna be movie stars I mean it would have been a would have been a joke we, we couldn't get I mean Gene Hackman moved furniture up and down six floors I did a number of jobs when I lived with Bob uh, Duval. He was he worked midnight shift at the post office in Times Square. I mean, it was we weren't the type to become successful. You know, I love the scene in this film when the three principals come walking out of the White House. Now, you, normally that type of thing takes months and months of getting permission and that type of thing. How did you guys uh, swing it for this movie? They got permission to we got permission to be in front of the White House that day. There's gates there. We weren't allowed, the, the director and the cinematographer wanted the three of us, Anne Heche, and De Niro and myself, to come out for the gate to open majestically and then to walk out, gate to close. Because they saw it do it a couple of times for cars that were going, coming in and out. They said, absolutely not. That's a whole other you know, thing you have to go through. So uh, since I was playing the producer, I was a little bit in character, and I went and I don't want to get them in trouble. But I talked to certain people who were near the gate who worked for the administration, and I you know, I said, if you get some autographs here from, you know, Bob De Niro and Ann Haish and, you know, <laughs> like then we'll send Posey, you know, what if you just open the gate? We'll just be in a few feet, you know, and I, I, I produced it. Hey, and very well done. Thank <laughs> you. All right, thank you very much. You have a great story. I love that's that. That's a true story. <laughs>